Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I'll be putting together the Gnome Dyes Halloween Costume Add-ons 2 for you today. So there it is. And you need to use either the girl, dye, girl gnome dyes or the boy gnome dyes. I did use all girl gnome dyes for these cute little critters. So first I start with the girl gnome silhouette and that's cut out of American Crafts black cardstock. And then I did cut the witch's dress out of Paper Trank black cardstock. There we go. I'm just trying to figure things out. Um, you'll have to trim off those two little feet nubs there. There we go. And that little that little strip of paper is from Doodlebug's Pumpkin Party. And I'm just trying to figure out where it's going to go. So this is what it will look like if you leave it in one piece. And I'll show you an alternative at the end for this. So there we go. I'm just trying to get it in the right spot and I will tape it in place just to make things easy for myself. There we go. And now I will add on the little witch boots that are cut out of paper tray ink black cardstock as well. So I'm using my art glitter glue working on a stampin' pad as per usual. These are two adorable gnome sets um, today that we're showing. And you could create so many little costumes for your adorable little gnomes with these. And use them on birthday cards and stuff too, right? Depending what it is. There we go. I'm still trying to get this witch the little witch legs lined up but like I said it'll be easier the way I show you a little later okay so the face is cut out of doodlebugs um, cardstock and I'm just going to line up that little face on top of the dress remember you always start with the dress with the girl gnome now I'm lining up the witch hat and I will trim off what overhangs there we go with my scissors and I'm just making sure it lines up right and then I will add it with my art glitter glue there we go. This is so cute. So the hat's cut out of that paper tray black cardstock as well, along with the brim. So I'll add the brim with my reverse tweezers. It just makes it easy. There we are. And then I will add the little band, the little hat band that's cut out of Doodlebug's gingham linen in purple. Kind of matches the tights that I have, those striped tights, which are kind of fun. Then I'm going to pop up this little nose with the wart. Like, how cute is that? And I'm going to add that. Not that we wouldn't, I, I wouldn't want a wart on my nose, to be honest. But you know, a witch, a witch can have a little wart on her nose. So now I'm adding in some gray hair. Um, that is also American Crafts cardstock. There we go. So she's got long hair. And then I will pop up her little nose. Isn't that cute? Now that little um, yellow buckle that was cut out of American Crafts cardstock as well. I'm just going to pop that in place. Okay, now I'm putting together my little broom. The broom is cut out of American Crafts um, brown cardstock. So I did cut out the silhouette in the same color. It really doesn't matter. There we go. So I'm lining things up. Then I will add on the straw broom part of it. So, which is easy too, using my reverse tweezers. There we go. And then there's a little like string that kind of bands the straw broom together. So I'm just going to add that on. That's cut out of that same um, brown cardstock from American Crafts. So nothing crazy. Okay, so there we are with that. And then I will pop up the two little green hands with the miniature Stampin' Up Dimensionals. There we are. And I'll use add those with my reverse tweezers. So kind of fun, right? So she's got her little broom she can fly on, but she'll be holding it. It almost looks like a guitar, right? It's kind of funny. And I will pop up this little broom with the larger Stampin' Up Dimensionals or whatever, whatever works, right? There we go. And I think I'm going to use some, you know, skinny strips, but then I realize I don't have to once I hold it up to the little uh, witch. Now I'm going to show you an alternate way to do the legs in just a second here, which is kind of fun. There we go. So just got to get them all these peeled off. This is sped up at, at two times. So this is a lot faster than I work. There we are. So isn't she cute? Just so cute. So now I ripped off the legs and this is another way you can do it. Cut the legs in half and you can make them look longer. So she looks taller or you can make her stand up. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put together this little kitty cat. So the kitty cat 
I cut out of American Crafts cardstock first for the background. And then I took Paper Triangle black cardstock for, you know, all the other pieces of this super cute kitty cat. Um, I'm also using Doodlebug's dot, Doodlebug's dot Stripe, and I'm using the dot side and a really light pink for the accents. So I'm just layering everything up using, um, you know, using some art glitter glue. So it's just the sweetest thing. There we go. I've got, her, I've got the little tiny whiskers, and I'm going to give her a little pink nose, because why not, right? So there we are. And now I'm taking Memento Lux um, white pigment ink. It's like called wedding dress, I believe. And I'm just going to ink around the edges of this black, um, all these black accents, because I find that when you when you're using all black, it kind of gets lost. So I want to give it kind of like an edge. So that's why I'm using this white pigment ink. It just makes it just a little bit lighter around the edges, and you know you can see the details a lot better. So there we go. I'm going to ink up around the ears. I'm going to do the same with the little paw feet. Isn't that cute? So darn cute. There, I'm just running them all around the edges, like I said. It's a sweet little thing. There we go. So now I'm going to put it together. So remember, with the girl gnomes, you always start with the dress. There we go. Line everything up. Then you put the face on using my reverse tweezers. That's that P13 stamping pad skin tones. Then this is the hat cut out of paper trink black cardstock again. I'm going to line that up with the original hat because I'm using, because, you know, I'm just using an original hat from the girl, from the girl gnome. Weight it down. And now I'm going to add her hair. That's cut out of American Crafts cardstock also in gray. I chose gray for a lot of the hair um, for all of the Halloween people just because I thought that it was a nice neutral but it still showed up so if, if this was a Halloween critter I used gray there we are so I'm going to pop up the little nose with the whiskers um, with my Stampin' Up dimensionals there now I'm going to add little bows to her hair um, that is also from that dot stripe doodlebug um, gingham linen six inch pad um, that the little bows actually came from the girl gnome dyes set now I'm going to add the little pink tummy. There we go. Isn't that cute? Look how cute that is. Just the sweetest little thing. Now I will add on the little ears. I will pop those up with Stampin' Up Dimensionals. So like I said, this is really easy once you know what the pieces are for and where they go, right? So there are the two cute little ears. Isn't that sweet? Now you can make whatever color kitty cat you want and you could have it for not Halloween, right? Could be a birthday card or a cat lover. At popped up the little feet and then those are the two little paws facing down and I will add those on. Isn't that cute? You could have her holding, holding like a sign or something, but for this I just left it plain. Isn't that sweet? Now I just need to add the tail, that's the last little piece. There we go, and I do use some tape for that one just so I can get it where I want it. And it will be glued down on the card and no one will know, so that way I get it where I want it. Without sticking my gnome to my, you know, to my paper pad there. So there is my super cute kitty cat. Okay, so now I'm putting together um, this adorable little unicorn girl with her little unicorn riding, like a riding unicorn stick. Is that what it's called? Not even sure. So I cut it out of American um, American Crafts brown cardstock. Then I used a black Copic marker just to dot the eye and the nose where it's going to show through. That is paper tray, ink, paper tray ink white cardstock now. Just popping that down. I'll weight that down. So now I'm going to put together this little girl gnome. So I first I cut um, a white glitter dress from the die cuts with a view glitter cardstock mat stack. There we go. Trying to get it lined up. I kind of want her all glittery because she's going to be like a little unicorn girl. And, you know, this could be on a birthday card, right? There we go. So I'm going to add the little face. That's that P13 skin tones. Then I did cut the hat out of white paper trank cardstock again along with the ears. So I'm just going to 
Although, like, to be honest, this doesn't really show, but I wanted, wanted it in white just in case it did show behind, you know, my glitter cardstock that I'm using for the hat. So I'm going to weight that down. Now I'm going to add the little um, insides of the, these ears. That's Paper Trank white cardstock. And then the pink is from the Color Bock um, glitter paper stack that I got. I don't even know where I got it, but I used all the colors in this stack. And now I'm going to add in all my stripes. Um, I used, just used all the colors, kind of tried to go kind of rainbowish order. There we go. And I'm just going to add it, add them all with my art glitter glue. So there we go. And then because I run out of colors, the, la the top of this unicorn hat will be that same white glitter cardstock from the glitter cardstock matte stack from Die Cuts with a View. You know, just because that way I can reuse that again, right? Isn't that cute? I just think that's adorable. Okay, so now I'm going to add on um, the little horn. That's also that same uh, white glitter card stock from the glitter card stock matte stack from Die Cuts with a View. And then I will use the same glitter colored papers that I used on my gnome hat on this um, horse mane. And um, well, I guess it's a unicorn mane, right? So I'm just going to pop all those on in just a second here. There we go. So I'm going to pop up that little furlock there first. And then I will add some of the colors from that uh, color book or color book. I'm not sure how, how you say it. Um, glitter paper pad. I think I might have even gotten it at Walmart back in the day. I'm not even sure. It's, it's been in my stash forever, but just use some pastel glitter paper. I just think it's so pretty. So I'm just going to add those last pieces on this super cute little riding horsey. Isn't that cute? Just adorable. And then I will pop up the little hands that's cut out of that same P13's um, stamping pad skin tones again. And I will pop those in place because how cute is that? Just adorable. And you can dress up your little girl gnome, right? Isn't she sweet? I just think she's adorable. Okay, so now I am, I cut out the little bows in that same green glitter cardstock from that same place. And then the hair is American Crafts cardstock again. This is the smooth one though. There we are. And I'm going to pop that down in place. Remember the hair always lines up with the bottom of each hat. Now I'm going to pop up her little nose with some of those Stampin' Up! Dimensionals again, and I will pop that in place. Just so cute. Of course, I peel it off and put it back on a million times, but you get the gist, right? There's a little rip under there, but no one knows but you and me. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to add in those two little bows, because why not, right? Give her some pretty bows in her hair. There we go, isn't she sweet? I just think she's adorable. And then I'm going to add the little bare feet. Those will be popped up with some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals again. I just think these are adorable. It's an adorable little character, right? What little girl wouldn't like this? Especially if they love unicorns. Like how cute is that? So I will add on the little ears. And then I move it because, you know, this is me. I can't commit right away. It's like, oh no, that's I don't like the way that looks. Yeah, I gotta peel it off. That's why I leave this stuff in. I want you to know that you're not the only one that makes mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. There we are. So isn't that sweet? So now I just gotta figure out what way. Oh, I'm out of the I'm out of the frame there. Sorry guys. Gotta figure out what way I'm gonna stick that on. And I'm just going to glue that down in place. Isn't that sweet? I just think this is adorable. That is just the cutest little thing, isn't it? Okay, now I'm going to put together the princess. And this is another one that's perfect, like I said, for a little girl's birthday. So I'm putting together um, the little girl gnome again. Remember, American Crafts cardstock for the outline. Then I cut the dress and I used uh, rainbow petite prints and dot stripe. I used the dot side um, for all the pa paper for this girl. So now I'm going to line up her little princess hat and cut off the overhang, whatever's not going to show. And then I'll stick down her little princess hat. 
So cute. There we go. So she's perfect and pretty and pink for as a princess. Now I'm going to add her little tutu because of course, of course, what self-respecting little princess wouldn't have a tutu on, right? So I'm going to add that. That's more of an, a hot pink from that same dot, dot stripe. And then there we go. I'm just getting the feet on in place. That one I had actually ripped off one before, so it, you know it still had the dimensional, but it wasn't sticky, so I had to add some glue. Now I'm going to pop up that little nose, but I got to get her hair on first. There we go. It's so cute, right? And I realize I've got to get that little crown on. That is American Crafts Christmas foil cardstock in gold. You can use any gold foil cardstock or silver, right? There we go. And then I will pop up the little nose. Isn't that sweet? Okay, so now I'm going to add the hair. That is American Crafts cardstock again. So we're gonna make her a little blonde. That always lines up with the bottom of all the hats, right? And then I will add a couple of little bows for her hair. Why not, right? There we go. Isn't that sweet? Now I'm going to add on these little banners. You know, one is in purple and one is in hot pink. There we are. And I just think that's the sweetest thing ever. Just so cute. I love it. Now I'm going to add on the little star on the top of the wand. That's also that same gold foil and the same American Crafts brown cardstock for the little wand. And then I'm going to add a little hand on there. There we are. Isn't that sweet? Just adorable stuff. And I'll pop that little wand up with some dimensionals there, because why not? There she is. She's holding her little pretty wand. The other hand could be holding a balloon, right, for her, for her birthday. Which is perfect. Okay, so now you'll see that I'm using a secure white jelly roll pen in a number 10 to just add some white little highlights to these little critters, because why not, right? Make things look a little bit cuter, because nothing's, you know, nothing's better than a few white highlights on a gnome, right? So I just put them here and there just for a little bit of, you know, dimension, and like I said, they don't have to be perfect, but I just think that these are adorable. Isn't that sweet? Like, how cute are these? And perfect, like I said, perfect not just for Halloween. The cat, the unicorn, and the little princess could be for any time, right? Isn't that cute? And I think, just think of the little girls that would squeal. So cute. And I think it'd be fun for them to put together, too. These aren't all together that hard to put together. You can cut the stuff out and let them put them together themselves, right? There we go, adding a little bit more highlighting detail there. And that is it. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog. Get inspired by the whole design team. Hop on over to the Jada Blossom store and get your hands on this um, on these gnome dies Halloween costume add-ons. Uh, this is number two that I just finished putting together, but you need a number one too for the little boys in your life. And that is all. So like I said, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And um, make sure you check out my, I, I did make a couple of cards too for this release. So check that out. I'll have a separate video for that. So thank you. And we will see you soon in my next video. Bye everyone.